What's up, YouTube? It's the holiday season upon us once again, and my kitchen, for one, is extremely busy this time of year. So I'm going to take you along and show you a few of my favorite Christmas candy recipes. Let's get started. The first recipe we're going to make, and the easiest, is crock pot peanut butter clusters. The things you'll need are one large crock pot, two pounds of dry roasted peanuts, and I have half salted and half unsalted. You'll need two packages of almond bark in the vanilla flavor, one package of semi-sweet chocolate chips, four ounces of German sweet chocolate baking bar, and I'm using Baker's today, and you'll also need some muffin liners. Now this easy candy all depends on how you layer it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is layer the bottom of your crock pot with your dry roasted nuts. After you've layered in your peanuts, the next step is to layer in your chocolate chips. Then take your German sweet chocolate. It should come in a bar like this. And you want to break that up and evenly distribute it over your chocolate chips. Now you want to take your two packages of almond bark, cut them up into squares, and put those on top. Now once you have your, all your almond bark in there, you're going to want to cover your crock pot. And we're going to cook it on low for three hours, and we're not going to stir. While our crock pot peanut clusters are cooking, we can go ahead and start on our next candy. These are called candy bar pretzel bites. They're super easy to make, and just with a few ingredients, they'll whip up in a snap. You're going to need some pretzels, and I have the square kind. You need some bite-sized Snickers. My mother bought the baking bites because mothers never listen. Mothers! But it should still work just fine. But if you have the fun size candy bars, you can just cut those in half. You're also going to need some white chocolate for dipping and also some red sprinkles. The very first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, you want to lay out 30 pretzels on your tray. Then you want to place a candy bar on top of each pretzel. You just want to pop these into the oven for two to three minutes just until they get a little bit squishy. You do not want these totally melted. And after I've done that, I'll meet you right back here. And they should look like this. You can see they're just starting to melt. When they come out of the oven, you immediately want to top it off with another pretzel. Now, of course, you don't want these to break. But if they do, we're going to cover half of it with chocolate anyway, so it really won't matter. If you find your candy bars are getting too hard, you can just pop them back in the oven for a couple minutes to soften them back up. Now we're going to pop these into the fridge for about 20 minutes to get set before we move on to the next step. After your candy bar pretzel bites have cooled, you want to take another tray, line it, and then you're going to want to take your white chocolate, break it up into a microwave safe bowl, and you're going to microwave that for 30 seconds, stir, 30 seconds, stir, and if it's still not melted, 10 second intervals after that. And it should look something like this. Now you want to take one of your candy bar pretzel bites and dunk half of it into the white chocolate. And then just set it on the wax paper. Now while the chocolate is still wet, you want to take your red sprinkles and sprinkle on the chocolate half. I'm going to finish the rest of these up and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. Now you want to pop these into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes so they can set. In the meantime, let's go see if our peanut butter clusters are ready. Our crock pot peanut clusters have been cooking on low for three hours now our next step is to stir this all together until well combined.
Now, doesn't this look delicious? Next, you want to take your cupcake liners and line your muffin tins. But if you don't have any muffin tins, you can just line a regular baking sheet with the cupcake liner. Then you want to scoop about two to three tablespoons of the chocolate peanut mixture into each muffin tin. And to do that, I'm just going to use a cookie scoop. After you have these all filled, you just want to let these set on the counter to come up to room temperature about 30 minutes. I'm going to fill up the rest of my cupcake liners and I'll show you how many I have when I'm done. And here you have it. On this side over here I have my candy bar pretzel bites. And over here is my crock pot peanut butter clusters. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you'd like to see more holiday treats and Christmas cookies stay tuned for the rest of the month. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.